We gotta intro this. Oh, hey, I welcome forgot. back. What are the bourbon junkies? These are our top 18 whiskeys of 2023. Yeah. Let's get into it. You know what? We, we, we tried hard. All right, listen, every year, everyone, including oh. us, makes a list. Yes. Well, this year, normally we have around 20 of our favorites go into this year. We had 18 of our favorite whiskeys of the entire year go into this. We did three separate blinds. We three ranked sets of six. each pour zero to 100 on a scale. Yeah. Sean right. organized them from low proof, middle proofs to high proofs. Those were the three yeah, blinds. Yeah, so our first blind was a uh, 90 to 98 proof. And then, um, we had to go high proof after that because that's what got poured second. So that was 118 to 136 proof. And then we did our mid blind, which was 106 to 117. There you go. So how this is going to work now is we gave everything an individual score. Instead of comparing them to one another, everything's its own single whiskey, its own yeah. score. So, so we did zero to 100. Um, they're going to be high scoring. Some uh, of them are high But scoring. we really tightened down because all of these are 90 plus. We like them. Realistically, if we just sat down and got given any of these 18, we go, yeah. hey, that's a 90 plus whiskey. Well, right now, unfortunately, we have a lot of 90 plus whiskeys. Yeah. So we have to think, hey, this is the best of the year. Yeah. We tighten that scale on in. Yep. A lot of 70s to 90s. So how this worked was we only added bottles to this list that we could obtain this year. Um, the reason own. is this is a media sample, but this was available at a Meyer for retail. Well, didn't last year's was amazing. Didn't so. pick it up. I think it was like $300 or something like that. But yeah. every one of these bottles obviously is here. We had 18 total this year. We know the order, but we don't know which bottles in which place. Yeah, we, we so went through. We're going to figure um, out this together. This is going to be surprising. Out there, uh, Ricky poured two blinds for us. So two of them are completely unknown. Uh, one is known for us. Basically, uh, that was the one that Dan poured for me. I poured for Dan. And all we did was label everything. So I know where everything lands, but I don't know bottles right now. Yep. So we can start at the bottom. 18th Number place. 18. We have... This is all backwards. We drank these in reverse order. Oh, dude, that was... That was terrifying. Blind. All right. We usually mess up blinds. We usually do poorly. Yeah. That would have. This felt way too calculated to for that to happen. That's true. Fair. All right. All right. Let's get into what our top 18, realistically, for the year is. Is this number one or number 18? Um, I'll take the bottom end. You want that? 18 over there? Actually, you know what? I've been a winner lately. Oh, you wow. take 18. We're going to go down that road. Okay. Yeah. All right. At least I knew that blind we had done things. The best part is nobody knows the behind the scenes of this video. Chaos. People would have guessed that. You have no idea that how chaotic it got, though. Okay, TLDR. Uh, one flight was literally labeled backwards. A whole list. And so we were starting to place together. We got to number, what, five? five? Six, five? We got in the top and went, this is not right Something's anymore. Something's wrong here. Anyway, so Let's go. now this is the real top 18. Last place. We have low proof number six. Low proof number six. Woodford Historic Barrel Entry Proof. It it's hurts just, my heart a little bit. I'm just, glad it is still in the running for Whiskey of the Year for us. I, I honestly do love the bottle. I think by itself, fantastic. We put it next to everything else. I think when you start comparing what we, we said believe it, to be younger. It's a little grainy. I think what when you compare old, there's a lot of really old wild whiskey Wild was the other uh, like denominator we put on it. We funky. said it was wild, it was funky. When you compare really young whiskey, which yeah. probably is comparatively, to old whiskey, maybe, it becomes very oblivious, maybe obvious. Maybe eight-ish, we'll say. All right, next, on 17, we have low proof number two. I got no nudes. No nudes. What? What was that? I want to say no notes, and I think I said no nudes. Well, it's Woodford Sonoma triple finish, which we also love. That bottle's taking a beating, and it came in 17. Come to find out, these for us, That is great so alone. I, we just got that Yeah. at Christmas. Great by themselves. Don't compare them to other things. Love that one. This is this one actually I think is even. Uh, and then we have low proof Clearly. number three. Okay, we're just going low proof and low proof and low we proof. We did. Remus Gatsby Reserve. You know what? Honestly, I'd rather have the historic and the Sonoma for the same price of as the Remus. The Remus. That's fair. I think this is. I mean, as a like in the real bottle, three as bucks. a package, gorgeous though. Three bucks. Gorgeous. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> All right. And then in 15th, yeah. we have high proof number three, which I already know is Woodford, Woodford batch proof. Batch proof. Yeah. I won't say Brown Foreman did poorly this year. What I will say is Woodford took the bottom three of four. Yeah. 
but they're also in the running for whiskey of the year for us. You're talking top 20 we've had this year? Yeah. Being the bottom of the top is still pretty good. It's in there. Yeah. It's they, a bummer. They, they scored points it's a bummer. on the championship game. It's a bummer. Did now we have see, a tie. It's like the Georgia game. It's like 68 to 3 or something like that. Dude. <laughs> we've got a tie for 13th and 14th. Huh? We know this. These two, these are what we poured each other. Okay. Uh, Wild Turkey Masters Keep in 2XO. Well, this one makes me sad. I expected Voyage to go higher, truly. And then... Both um, on your side. 2XO, I... This tracks in my brain. Yeah. This isn't surprising placement-wise. No. I, it's not a hyper-aged whiskey. It's not like this is his first one of these. That's a good bottle of whiskey, and it beat... I mean, it beat all of these. Still hitters. Beat Remus. That was $300. Still hitters. It well, makes me sad it beat this. That's true. I no, I didn't beat that. it. It's a tie. That's fair. Okay, it's Those a tie. Are a tie. Fair. It's a tie. All right, number 12. We yep. have low proof number one. Don't. Low proof number one. No! <laughs> Randy Moss, dude. All right. They should just There bring... is not one bit of me thought that Dan was going to catch that. That was a legit no there, because I thought that was falling. It was Odell Beckham the... Jr. in the end zone, hand back. You know what I mean? All right. How was Burr Rye? Honestly, not bad. Honestly, this performed well for... We really liked it when we reviewed it this year. 120 bucks, low proof. Old whiskey though, very good, um, fantastic. That, I mean, that is the second best of the low proofers. Truly the fact that it beat this and this for me, surprising. That's about where I think it surprising. would be. Some of those are some mix-ups, but Prosper whatever. Ryan's very good this All year. right, we have another tie. We have high proof, number six. Okay. And middle proof, number six. Angel's Envy cast rank. Yeah. Metal proof number six was what? What bottle is that? Forgate. Forgate, Kelvin five. I don't hate Interestingly it. Interestingly enough, I'm glad we got this finished whiskeys. Higher for you. Um, so that was high proof six. That's all right. You give it a 78. That's all right. I give it an 84. We said even. That's all right. It's not bad. It's just. It's a good bottle. It, it just, what we found while we were blinding them, this fades, just kind of a fades. Little bit, it just yeah. is less impactful. It just goes away a little bit. So that right. uh, that is the second of three ties. A little for spoiler. Sure. All right, ninth place, Solo, we yep. have High Proof number two. This actually is still, even with little not shocking. the mix up. A little shocking, I honestly. expected that to be higher. This, by the way, is Stag 22A. I would have gave that top four. Her 23s were really good. And there's three different batches. I still would have probably blindly yeah. said, hey, you know what? I would Top have. four. I would have said top three without a doubt. Yeah. And I, I would have been confident in my statement, truly. Really? Yeah. Top three? When we reviewed that, we're like, this is the best stag we've had in... I don't know. You know what I mean? We got some hitters this year, though. Is we said that's the best stag since 12. And it didn't come in the top five. That seems problematic. Everyone Maybe it's us. just catching up. We're the them. problem. I think yeah, everyone more than we're the get... problem. Okay. Eighth place. Yep. Highest of low proofs, uh -huh. L5. Old it's right there. Forrester birthday I know bourbon at. beat stag this year. Might be the first year ever for us. Objectively, that drink's so good this year. It's so good. Um, People poo pooed on that. Fibbers. You're all fibbers. So or we're wrong. It's whichever. Low five. We said it had a great evolution. It was complex. It, it had a good linger. The nose is always phenomenal, too. Um, nose, I think, is one of the best. Yeah, it's fantastic. That, that one had a lot going on. Yeah. All right. Then we have what place number we seven. Seventh we place. High proof number five. Seventh place, high proof five. Elijah Craig barrel proof yep. C923. Laser code A23. A23. Which we're going to do a thing about we that. We have an A22 coming. We're going to compare the them. People are talking about micro batches and stuff like that. Specifically Cam from Drums and Drams. He Fam started a bee's nest. Fantastic, though. That's, that was fantastical. Um, I love that. That's very good this year. Actually, this pro also, back to maybe first ever for our channel, Elijah Craig beat Stag. Beat Stag. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. We had 166 in 174. That was the gap between these yeah. two. Yeah. It's tight race, but fair margin to the stat. Or I'm sorry, oh, yeah. the ECBP. That's a pretty significant, because there was a lot of tight. In the yeah. 170s was a yeah. crowded space, I think. All right. Number six. Yep. Make a mark seller. I, we already know that one. Um, man, Sean rated. Sean saved this bottle in this ranking, by the way. I don't think it did. Yeah, you did. Uh, I don't think it did. I gave it a 94. It's fine. What did I give it? 81. Yeah, Sean saved that one. That gal could have been lower this year. 
And here's the thing. Not I mean, realistically, it would still settled in between here sure. somewhere if I was a few points lower. Not because it's not great. It's just because it's just not my profile. It's just not for whatever reason. It beat this Phenomenal by one bottle, point, but one point mostly because of me. <laughs> only, actually, only. Hey, only. Hey, <laughs> you said mostly. Okay, it it was still in here. L let let's sure. throw some respect sure. on it. It was all right. It was. It, it's a very well put together bottle of whiskey. What place are we on? Uh, this is gonna be fifth and fourth. This is top five. Top five Before right here. Before we get into our top five, like, comment, and subscribe, and then leave one down right down below. You tell us do your that. favorite bottle of the year. And tell us why throw we're wrong putting stag that low. Uh, okay, yeah. so actually it's great. We we throw a tie in there, and okay. then top three. Clean. Good. Yep. We have low proof number four. And? Disco 11. This makes perfect sense actually now. It's where gotta did, be, where did right they go? Oh, okay. That's gotta be that, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mictors 10, Disco 11. We talked about how good this Mictors was, was this, year. this year. Absolutely fantastic. It's also not 10. It's also 15. not 10, yeah. Um, This Disco? Yeah. Fantastic. Best Disco probably, I'm a, this is a um, bold statement, best Disco since four. So I didn't write notes, but 88 and 89. Yeah, that was the one we ranked super high. Disco 11, fantastic. So Low proof number four. We just said complex. Sure, it is. Those two together, fantastic. Old as hell. All also, right. also, the only sub hundred bottle to compete, at, like with these two. These are both big that's bottles. It feels like this is ninety point four. Yeah, and it like that's wild. Yeah, truly, that's an incredible. As the drink goes, yeah. fantastic. All right, shout out to Zach. First podium. Yeah, we have high proof number four. The Barrel King single barrel. Uh, for those who care, it is batch number 50. It's 62% ABV. The notes I wrote were just good, well rounded. Very good. Um, Very good whiskey. I weigh heavily on an on evolution of flavor. Yeah. I like something that goes front to back yeah. and has a story to tell. There's yeah. something moving on. It's just not a flat note. Even no matter how good a note is, I want something flat. I want something. To move. Yeah. That did it well. That was, did it really well. Number two. Yeah. We have. I'd imagine. That's mid three. Well, then we know what it is if it's mid, because I know what the high is. That is Jack Daniels 12. So first place is not, a bottle people have been leaving off their list. Not shockingly for us. But people um, have been not putting us on their list because nobody knows what's going on currently. Uh, I feel like that is some... Um, 13th County Double Oaked. Radioactive stuff right 2023. now? 2023. Now, um, let me tell you, that was a 188 for us. Combined 92, score. 96. And this right there was an 88, 93. Wow. What was the Barrel King? 181. Okay, so we have 188, 181, 180. One point between those two. That and Jack 12? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Here's the crazy part. Uh, this bottle, maybe 80 bucks. If you found it for retail, if, I get if. whatever. But people are finding it for like 400. Sure. We did not pay 400, thankfully. No, we did not. Um, let's say around 100 if you found it at retail. You know, it's great. It, more expensive, more expensive, more expensive. Less, more, less, more, more, more. Like all of them more. This one also less than all of the ones I just when mentioned. We drank this. Wow. We both went, hey probably whiskey of the year. I drank that on that live stream with Chris Fletcher. I made such a face that Matt Porter on the Zoom call went, it's gotta be good, Dan. I saw the face Dan made. <laughs> it's literally like that whiskey yeah. was- Amazing. Honestly. Absolutely incredible. And that bottle has been open all year. Yes. And it's helped. We got that early. Absolutely phenomenal still to this moment. These are, these are, this what is- What do you think your ooh, biggest upset is for you? I think Disco 11 coming in fourth uh, is mind blowing. Because I knew I liked it. Yeah. Fourth in okay. whiskeys yeah. of the year is high, really high. Anything on this list. Sad I've Voyage said came it. this low. Gonna be amazing. Anything on this list, amazing. I can't believe how high. Twixo came. Yeah. Gemma, Kentucky. Now these are single barrels, so they will all be different. Yeah. Fifty is good. I've heard good things. Other people have not said so much fine things. Um, we had a different one of these we liked a lot. Blind. Yeah. I wish this went higher. Um, I'm really happy how high this came for both of us. I feel like it kind of, 
I feel like when we drank that, the, the whiskey's structured so well. It's, weed. it's just weed. a good There's bottle no of whiskey. Yeah. It's just well put together. Um, honestly, I for me, this could have been a top one or two for me. Yeah. Uh, hands down. Yeah, I the profile on that's not still not for me, come to find out. It's good though. And, um, it, but it's just, the wild part to me is this is one of the very few whiskeys I've had in probably years. Where I was like, that flavor profile's not for me. Yeah. How well Still put together good. that is. Yeah. That's a fantastic whiskey. It like, wasn't WLW, so Dan didn't like it's it. Not w, it it's um, not WLW. This coming in fifth as a 90 proofer. That's a shocker. Feel like that. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Wild. All right. This, this is, is 107. A, I like that. That's a good proof. That's so, a good proof, buddy. 136. 107 is a good proof. 107, 120 something, 124. Sure. Yeah. This, the, this kind of proves we are not proof horse. No, I and then this would back that up a little bit. Yeah. And then this would really back that up. 90. Yeah. Uh, this is 111. We or did a good like job. That? We tried to make this. 18. We tried to one. make this list. This list is compiled of a lot of different bottles from a lot of different distilleries. Yes. This list also is stuff, a bunch of things on this list were very findable this year. Not oh. every single bottle, we know that. Okay. But a lot of these were available, or you could, if you went out of your way, you could get them. It was a possible. A good amount of them were pretty findable. Yeah. Honestly, the ones that were the like birthday bourbon and cellar would be two of the hardest ones in the stack. Costco helped out a lot, but uh, yeah. most of these are supposed to be annual releases. Whiskey of the year, most places. There it wow. is. Thank you guys uh, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We're not. We'll do a video on the controversy with all of that. We can do that, and we'll do it with the ECBP too. It's not this video. We did put in the list. We do love it. Yeah. Whatever's going on, we love the whiskey. And we're going to move on with our lives. Thank you for watching. <laughs> this is our top 18 like, whiskeys of the year. First time we've ever actually done more than a top 10, by the way.